Hey, listen, we're live. We are live awesome. now. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Good to know. Live. Yeah. Hello, everyone. We're live, so I don't touch my face. Um, <laughs> yes, we should wear masks. <laughs> but they say, like, one of the, the the main reasons why you need to wear masks is because it, it reminds you not to touch your face. Like, it's that. Like huh? Or to not eat. wear masks. Or they. <laughs> <laughs> Try to eat with one of the masks say, like, on. See what happens. Drop. The main reasons yeah. why you need to wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, I'm gonna share it now. Or let's see. Where is it at? I don't see it. Um, Hat Media. Mm -hmm. Share mm -hmm. in a group. <laughs> Here we go. It. I'm going to share it now. Or, let's see. There we go. Where's it at? I don't see it. Um, ah. So I don't touch my uh -oh. face. Um, <laughs> we should Sorry. Guys, I can't. Okay, hold on. But they say, like, one of the, the, the main reasons. I can't get this to stop. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, funny. Okay. Did you yeah. share it in behind the mag? I did. I just did. Where's okay. I don't see it. Um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right I don't now. like to hear myself. I'm, I'm hear so myself sorry. way too much. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. All right, guys. We are. Um, we're ready to go, right, Kevin? I'm sure he's. Yep, we're on. Fun. Okay, right. good deal. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is episode number question mark because we don't even know what day it is because quarantine has our heads spinning. However, um, this is a podcast about being a female business owner, being a mom, being uh, quarantined. Um, <laughs> all of the above. And all the different hats we wear. This is just mm -hmm. a great podcast that me and Amy love doing and Kevin Horn produces because he is the bomb. And it is called Behind the Mug. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you um, all so much. We know that Andy is chatting right now too. But um, we just we just kind of felt like right now is a good time to have our podcast. And we're yes. excited because we missed a week because things have just gotten a little wild yeah. around here. We needed a little a little pause button there for a minute. But Kevin is, has hooked us up again with the Zoom video to plug it in. And uh, this will be recorded and put into our podcast on Spotify and on YouTube as well. So um, if you're busy right now, you can do a replay or tune into our Spotify when it gets posted on there. Amy, I miss you so miss much. You so much. I miss like, because my week consists of like half at home or shooting and half at City Park editing and working and chatting. And, you know, know. and I miss being able to do that because that was kind of my normal and so now it's like I can't go and just sit and like be around you all. It's so I have tough. to be like, home. We miss our customers so much. So like much. we but this is full of lavender lemonade currently. That's what I'm I drink still it. drinking on it. Oh my gosh. I drink it. So every we're day. used to doing our podcast in the mornings and it's behind the mug. Yeah. But we're but not we'll have coffee. <laughs> oh, I just now finished mine. So <laughs> that's so, so funny. I'm going, to, coffee. I'm going between the two right now, but that's hot. But yeah. So okay, so this is just like some really crazy times, and I never imagined that we would have to resort to communicating in this form. Um, it's becoming a little bit of like the new norm, so I, that's kind of sad. But I kind of, I kind of like though, like seeing where everyone is. Like I don't know if you've watched. I watched Kelly and what's his face. Um, Kelly Ripa, and now it's oh yes, what's his name? Uh, Ron Seacrest. Ron Seacrest. Yes, Kelly but, and Ron. But they're in their home, and they're doing their show from their home. And yeah, I watched cool. a Jimmy Fallon episode that was like that, yeah, and Jimmy it was Fallon. crazy. And you know, I don't really watch a whole lot of TV. Um, I'm usually listening to music or listening to podcasts or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't think that I really realized how much it's affecting like the. The whole world, like TV, like, you and, know, celebrities and stuff are even affected by this. And newscasters are broadcasting their news from their home, too. Like the weather people. Um, That's crazy. 
the but how cool that we can do this it is like it's how like, cool that this is an option for yeah. us to be able to continue to network with one another and provide you know our podcast for our listeners and stuff like that so i'm just personally really really grateful yeah. that we have that option and for kevin who is the bomb and is able to give us such great sound and um hopefully the sound's good if you guys are listening on facebook and you're on our live video tell us how the sound is tell us you know if you can hear us and everything okay and just say um, hey and ask us quick if we have any yeah questions. guys talk to us we would love i'm looking at the questions. facebook page right now on my phone so if you guys have any questions or you want to communicate with us you can totally do that in the comments and uh I would love we'll respond. That. So, Amy. Yes. What are like the top three things that you are doing at home right now to keep yourself sane? That's my question for you. Well, I'll, I'll say that I'm keeping both me and my daughter sane. <laughs> Tell us um, again about your about how old Ollie is and how because okay. it's 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 a difficult time for you because her age is like very difficult. Yeah. So when it all first started and um, they closed down the daycare, I was like, oh, my gosh, because don't get me wrong. I love being around my child, but I also, well, you were already considering not sending her. I remember. Yeah. And before they shut it down. I already like I but I really love I love it because she's she's getting to interact with other children her age and the women there are just wonderful with them like they're treat them like family. And um, she's getting to, she's learning a ton from there. So when I realized that she could no longer go, one, that changes my schedule all around, um, even though I'm, I can't work right now either. But, um, and her, she's like, she she is two and a half. Well, she'll be three in June. So she doesn't really understand all this yet. Um but that's I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of glad that she doesn't know what a virus is, and she doesn't. Um, it kind it isn't even on her mind like a virus. Right. So because she can't her, experience yeah, anxieties so, of that the rest of us are. Yeah. So like that kind of stress isn't on her, but she is just more confused. Like I don't understand. Like why can't I go? Why can't we just go to Walmart? You know? Why can't we go to the park and? stuff like that so every day she's used to having her day full of activities and playing with other kids and starting her morning every morning at 7 30. And, <laughs> and so now i'm i'm waking up with her at 7 30 where i'm trying to set her a schedule somewhat like a somewhat schedule because she i think kids like routine like oh, I, really I think so like too. i think a great routine like huge on routine so yes if we don't have one, she gets really bored really quick. So one of the first, I think it was like the first week, I realized that I really needed to get, and it was an essential thing for me, like craft supplies are mm -hmm. essential to me right now. Like, they are to me too. Yeah, like something totally. that I'll be essential to someone else is essential to me right now. Yes, my so, canvases and paint are 100% yes. essential, and I will fight anybody that tries to tell me they are not. Exactly. So I'm like, <laughs> I went to the dollar store like one day, and I was like, I am getting crafts. I'm going in, getting what I need, getting out. Like, so we in the mornings, we spend, we eat our breakfast. She watches a little TV while we eat. And then I'm like, and she already yells crafts crafts like she's ready for crafts. Aww. we spend 30 minutes like she just loves glue so i let her <laughs> pour glue all over her page and we put sequins on it and pom-poms and you know just have some fun with that and she loves it and then i try to let her help me make something for lunch um whatever she you know could do and then there's a lot of free play time too. So it's not like a complete like set structure. Um, but we go out. Do you feel like you're getting to connect with her though in a way that you wouldn't have been if yes. this wasn't so, going on? Yeah. Like I had been really worried about her speech for like a really long time. Cause um, I knew she would come around. She was just uh, going a little slower than most of the kids her age that were like in her, in her class and stuff. So um, she had been in speech therapy and literally during all of this, like she is now talking almost in full sentences. Like that is so awesome. Yeah, and I've got to watch that 
progress. Like I've got to be here as she's doing that. And it's wild to me to like be able to see that. Yeah. We, we have gotten, you know, to spend so much quality time together and she's about to stop napping though. <laughs> so oh, that's going to be, but, um, so that's been a little harder, but I'm like, why am I stressing so much about trying to keep my house clean? And no, no. do all the laundry and do all the oh, dishes. God, no. And I'm like, no. this time of year, like this, during this. You are living in your home 24 hours a day. Like there is meal no food. need. Like, no. no. So I so, promise you, nobody else is keeping their house clean 24 hours a day. I mean, there's, cool. there's no way right now, especially. No, so, there's not. <laughs> really like that's been really good for us is just trying to keep our schedule and um sam's been working night shift he's um they have him as a security at the hospitals so his position in ksp they are all um security for the local hospitals so during this time so they just kind of make sure that there's not too many people going into the er um and making sure there's not any you know too many people and stuff and right. it hasn't been bad yet. So I take in every night. I'm like, Hey, how was your yeah. night? And he's like, uneventful. Well, it's got to be nerve wracking. I mean, he's legit one of the frontline workers, you know, yeah. and he's subjected it, to yeah, all the it, people that are, some are taking it serious. Some are not. I mean, it's, yeah. it'll it makes me nervous. What I'm going to talk about working with the public. It's just like, yeah, it's crazy right now, but yeah. we'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I'm just focusing on keeping her busy. And then any free time I get, I've been reading some, um, trying to. Oh, you were going to share a book with us. Called Oh Crap Potty Training. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's That's really, awesome. It's really um, informational. I've really learned a lot about it. Um, and she is currently, we're, we've started this week. Um, so is it like a guide lot. or is it something that you read to her? It's a guide um, for okay. me, basically, like what has seemed to work the best for the most moms. Um, you know what's so funny is when I had my kids, I can remember my grandmother telling me, kids don't come with manuals. Kids don't come with manuals. You got to learn as you go. But I feel like they're starting to come with manuals. They really I mean, kind of are, especially for facing this, <laughs> like this and sleep training, like things like that's that. So funny. And with, with this, it, it makes a lot of sense, the things that she's saying. And, um, yeah, I'm about, about halfway through it. So we're we're starting with that. But um, And then I'm going to hopefully start, depending on how all this goes, but this is a – I'm a big true crime, big true crime fan. So this is I'll Be Gone in the Dark. I've had this for a really long time, and I haven't got to start it. So – it's a well, you'll have to let us know how that is. Will. We will post in the comments. Um, Amy can post the link to the Oh Crap Potty Training book because oh, yeah. I think that's phenomenal and it sounds like it's working. It, I know with my daughter, she was a lot harder to potty train than my son was. And I've heard a lot of people say that their boys are easier. Mm -hmm. For me, that was the case. But yeah. like, it was like with Marley, which she's nine now, mm -hmm. um, when I was potty training her, it was like, I'm not getting anywhere. And then all of a sudden, one day, she just mm -hmm. goes to the potty. And from then on, it was done. That's but great. She just one day decided, yeah, I guess I'll start now. Yeah. Yeah. It's and in I, her time, really. It's kind of, so. yeah. And I know she's ready, but it's such a new thing. And that's what it kind of says. Like, this is something they've never even thought about themselves. Yeah. So, of course, they're not going to be ready. Guys, if but you have any potty training advice and you're watching this live, comment below and tell us. Yeah. What's something in innovative or is that the word I'm looking for? Creative, creative uh, yeah. that you have done for your child to help with potty training. And I think right now it's actually like, cause I had been training it. I'm like, Oh gosh, well, this is the perfect time to do it. it you is. know, it, it really is. Like literally the, the beginning of it is like, you have to watch your kid 24 seven during this. Like right. most of the time you just, you know, let them kind of do their own thing. And then, you know, if they go, whatever. But but this is like you have to watch them. That's because I think that, that's one hand. reason your scheduling is so important because when they're on a schedule, it seems like they're easier to potty train. Yeah, don't you think? And we're home all the time, so it's right. like she can run around naked, which is part of it too. It's like right. it's easier to do it that way. So <laughs> I know that like 
you're a lot like me. You find humor in crazy things. And I know that you're also like me in the fact that if you do not find humor in things, you will go insane. Mm -hmm. So tell me something that's like one of the funniest things that's happened or one of something that's just made you laugh while being quarantined at home. <laughs> oh, man. Um, shoot. Well, they are stories. Our, our things are going to be so much different because Amy is at home all day. And I am an essential. Apparently, coffee is an essential, which I'm grateful for. Um, but I still get to run my business with curbside services. So I have funny things with the public. Amy has funny things at home. Well, we get um, to as with the whole pot, we'll go with the whole potty training thing. Um, the first day that we had her completely naked, because that's what you're like, you're supposed to start like completely right. naked. And she's never, I mean, since she's been born, she's had a diaper on. So, you know, going from always having a diaper on to nothing, it's very different for them. So, like, she realized, like, you know, I'm naked. Like, <laughs> Mom, I'm, why is mom home all the time and where did my clothes go? He was like, why, why can't I wear pants now? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> but, like, she ran around the first day and, like, she thinks it's funny. Like Sam will chase her. Like she loves to just run around and get chased and stuff. And she'll go get you mommy, get you. <laughs> and with it, like during this, like she started like hitting herself <laughs> down there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so she was standing on the couch the other day. She goes, mommy, mommy. And she goes, and like, <laughs> And I'm like, stop. And then I couldn't help but laugh. I'm like, come on, like, stop. Oh, yeah. Stop hitting yourself. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. I'm like, she's no. Like, now. I was like, no, don't do that. Gosh. So it's it's funny, but it's just, and there's so many more things I'm sure that I've forgotten of, but that forgotten about, but that was like one of the most recent things. That, so you and Sam are on completely different schedules. Sam is Amy's husband. He is a Kentucky State Police. Yeah. And um, works for the Kentucky State Police. Yeah. And um, so you guys are on completely different yeah. schedules. I've heard a lot of people say being quarantined with my spouse is about to take me out and stuff. But you guys totally kind of crisscross, you know, yeah. it, you don't really get to. I don't it, I don't know. I want to say you don't get to spend all that time together, but I also want to say you don't have to spend all that time. <laughs> it kind of goes both ways. Kind of yeah. goes both ways. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. We, we've, um, he was excited <laughs> to go back to work cause he got like a week off or so when all right. of it started. Um, but then he was like, you know, I kind of look forward to it because, you know, there's not a whole lot to do here. Um, mm -hmm. and his, yeah, his schedule is the opposite of mine. So I see him for like five, maybe five hours in the evenings and then, he goes back to work. So right. we, um, we like right now we've traded off a uh, baby duty. So he's got her outside and I'm in here doing this, but right. um, it's nice because we get to eat. We like, it'd be his lunch, but my dinner. So we get to eat dinner together still. Yeah. So that's one thing I've actually really enjoyed is being, you know, I'm sitting down eating with the kids and stuff, which is yeah. something, you know, we really kind of take that for granted, you know, being able yeah. to sit and actually eat a meal with our family. Yeah. And that's who'd have thought, who would have thought that we would have a time like this that we would realize, you know, I probably should have been eating with my family. Like, yeah, we need to make I'm those. Sad. I figured out so many things that I need to make a priority now. You yes, know, me too. I can that's totally right. agree with that. Mm -hmm. I can knock a lot of things off my list that I thought were priorities too. Yes. And people. Mm -hmm. Yep. Talk on a personal level like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's some people that should not have been a priority for me um, and some a lot of things that shouldn't have been a priority for me. So it's kind of been a reality check for me in a lot of different ways. And for that, I am so incredibly grateful because I really needed that. <laughs> I needed a reality check. I hate that it had to happen like this. Um, but, you know, the new norm is going to be a lot different in good and bad ways. Yeah. Don't you I think? Agree. I do. I really agree 100%. It's so it's a lot of people down. So, yeah. Yeah. It does. Like, it has slowed. Well, we've not had a choice. It's slowed everybody down. Yeah. Um, for me at home and in, yeah, well, talk about not it. even just at home, but like just in general, I have had to find 
my sanity in humor. Mm -hmm. I, in the beginning, and like all the local business owners, like we really were doing, not that we were making fun of it or anything, but like we, you know, like Christy Kendall that owns Kick and Ash came here in her dino suit and helped me serve coffee one day. Um, just to kind of be funny because, you know, she's isolated in the dino suit and we thought it'd be funny yeah. for a T-Rex to deliver coffee and we did videos and stuff like that and um, just, you know, different posts on Facebook and being silly. I really got into TikTok there for a little while um, and then things started getting like way more serious and it was kind of like a toned down time. Um, but being able to laugh with the people close to me and find humor in the day has really kept me sane. I'm I don't sure. know if, if I don't, if I don't surround myself with, with positivity and laughs, I, I don't, I don't know how I would make it right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's one way that I have kept sane. Another way is networking. Uh, my two best friends live in Richmond or they teach their school teachers. So they're home right now. Mm -hmm. um, we FaceTime just about every single day to keep mm -hmm. in touch with each other and just being able to see them helps me. I think that being able to find the silver linings, find humor in things and utilize technology to stay in touch with my friends and loved ones has saved me. It, and I, a huge deal. When we like had our last podcast, when Davy came on, that was what she suggested. She said, if people don't utilize technology and use FaceTime and Zoom and all that, they're going to lose that touch of, of energy that you get when you have, you know, communication with people. And it's going to mentally take an effect, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't think that until you don't have that. Exactly. And in, so, just being in someone else's in someone else's environment is yes. something that I took for granted, like being able to just go and be around other people and like, like at, at the coffee shop. You oh, know? God, it's killing me. Yeah. I am such like, I, I, I thrive on hugs and, you know, social interaction and stuff like that so much. Yeah. Like I'm super needy when it comes to that. Like I need social interaction. I need you know, all that in my life so bad. And I already knew that, but for the love of everything, I didn't realize how much it would affect me if I didn't have it. Hang on. We've got a potty dilemma. Hold on. <laughs> We've got a potty dilemma. I love it. It's real and raw stuff going on here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're good. Um, so anyways, yeah. Um, just, doing anything I can to have interaction with people, totally keeping me sane, mm -hmm. uh, laughing, totally keeping me sane. Yeah. But it's really hard because my biggest struggle right now is my anxiety of um, dealing with the public because everybody has their own perception, perception on what is going on. And for the most part, Everyone is respectful and everyone, you know, we have a sign outside here at the coffee shop that says you cannot come in here. Please call us to place your curbside order. We have a shelf that we sit uh, the drinks and stuff on. So we're not even in physical uh, contact with people. But people still try to come in the other door sometimes or they'll come up to the doorway and want to talk about conspiracy theories and their political standpoints <laughs> on this and all this different stuff. And it's, <laughs> I don't want that in my business. So having to um, kindly rebuke that behavior has been very difficult. Yeah. Um, making sure, you know, there's a fine line there of still communicating with your customers and not telling them, you know, to shut up and go away. I don't ever want to be like that about it, but also like protecting myself and my employees, you know, um, has been very difficult yeah. caused my anxiety to yeah you know and but well because one thing I've noticed like if I am in anywhere near anybody else um you feel like almost that it's offensive if you're not in closer to them or if you're I, not 
being able to shake their hand or give them a hug or something. Yeah. It almost feels like they don't want to offend you by not being close to you. But now it's offensive. You get too close. (laughs) So it's like, it's a very fine line. (laughs) So backwards right now. Yeah. Um, But so, okay. Some funny things that have happened. Oh gosh. Should I talk about at home or in my business? I could talk about, (laughs) should I talk about what happened when I was on FaceTime with you a minute ago? Sure. Do we go ahead with that? Might as well. So, (laughs) Amy and I were talking about literally like we were talking about how dealing with human beings on this planet is almost just as bad as dealing with the pandemic itself. Um, And so I had a a customer towards the end of the day come in and um, will come to the door and get their drink. And my employee didn't notice this until after they had already left. They paid with i'm holding it with a uh loss a lot right now actually they paid with a 20 dollars bill you guys would you like to see what's on this 20 dollars bill <laughs> well comment we'll in the comments if you know what this is it's a lovely piece of art doom bug this is wolverine drawn on the head of who is it that's on the $20 bill that Andrew Jackson? Look at this. It's fresh. So this means they did this. And then they came and bought their coffee with that $20 bill, Isla. Hello, Isla. Say hi. What's up? You're live. You are live on Facebook. This is your first podcast. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Ala, look at this. <laughs> look, look at this picture. It's Jen. Say hi, Jen. Okay. <laughs> hi, Ala. Can you see this? Can you see it? Look at that. No. This is illegal. <laughs> Legal. <laughs> Legal. <laughs> That's right. Don't ever draw on money. Oh, so, dear. yeah, guys, if you can't see this or if you're listening to the podcast um, instead of watching live, Someone drew Wolverine on the face on the $20 bill. And um, I want to laugh at this legit. Like I really do. But I was so mad because I can't use this $20 bill. I can't take this to the bank. Well, I think you might be able to. And they might exchange to give you a better one. Hey, it's okay. Uh, You think so? I think maybe. Because I think this is freaking bananas like i'm so mad over it look they even put slashes on it like there's red marks on it so anyway we've been joking around um with suggestions on what i should go purchase with this 20 dollar bill and um kevin told me i should put it towards amy's t-rex suit i mean i really still want one so i would enjoy that yeah so those are the kind of things that I'm dealing with right now. Now that would have happened pandemic or not. I'm just saying like at a time like this, like I feel like people should be more sensitive to things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but they're just, most people are, but you know, you get stuff like that. And like I said, that would have happened pandemic or not. But I just mm-hmm. think that right now is the time that we should be like, <laughs> really cautious of our doings um also it just happened and it's kind of funny and i don't know what to do with this twenty dollar bill now so i have it sitting here um so there's that sorry obviously we haven't had a nap today have we (laughs) (laughs) she thinks it's funny oh no she's crying now (laughs) mommy snuggle with you she's like get up mommy get up Oh my goodness. And this is what struggles are. Mine are probably NTI homework with my kids. Um, They're over it. A little break with her. And if you want to keep talking, you can. (laughs) All right, we'll do it. I'm going to give her a little break and then I'll be right back. (laughs) Okay, sounds good. Um, So, my think that my. One of my biggest things is, Kevin, you want to come on here with me? Sure. Go for I'll it. I'll join you. So, Kevin is on. Kevin Horn is our producer. 
He makes sure that we have sound and that we are able to do our podcast, even when we're in the middle of a pandemic and have to self uh, self isolate, social yep. distance. So um, you'll hear Kevin's voice on here, and we will just throw him in here since I'm going to take a break real quick. Right. Um, but anyways, what I was saying, Kevin, is that my kids are having to do their NTI work, mm-hmm. and they're totally over it. They're tired of being around each other, and they are really, really starting to miss their friends um so something that i've been doing to kind of keep them satisfied is <clears throat> i took maddox to drive around and um say hello to some of his friends um just we stayed in the car and you know they came to the door and just talked for a few minutes and we went and visited like three of his friends yeah um and i'm gonna do the same thing with my daughter and um just little things like that you know i want i want them to be able to have some form of communication with their friends i'm trying to encourage them to facetime and and talk to people but uh, my biggest struggle right now is keeping my kids entertained <laughs> network oh, network <laughs> intact and alive basically yeah. well see that's um, that's something that that too like i'm experiencing here is because you know a lot of my that i am able to do especially like with putting on the podcast is and just like with communicating with people like i still do a regular D D game on mondays um with uh heather's husband and sheena's husband and, and pat so you know a lot of i have a lot of connection issues and amy probably knows about this because she also has chantelle <laughs> oh it's lovely yeah well they, they've been out working on it today so I'm, I'm hoping that that has has helped with this but you know the other, it's it's weird to me too, is because you know, while all this is going on, it it almost feels like summer in a way. But I'm like, why aren't there more kids out? I'm like, oh yeah, they still have school that they have to do. Like I forget about that yeah. part because it's so odd right <laughs> now. Yeah, it is odd. You know, I was uh, I worked from home today for a little while because I had to run payroll and check email and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I stayed stayed home to do it. Got my kids set up doing their NTI work. And I started like getting really depressed, like depression started really sitting in with me Mm -hmm. um, just because I was, I won't talk, I refuse to talk about politics on here at all whatsoever, but I was, I was looking at some stuff. I was getting aggravated over some stuff and communicating with some other business owners for like two hours straight. And I was like, I got to tap out. So I was like, I'm going to go outside. I have a bike and I'm I'm just going to ride my bike and get some exercise and tap out. So I get going down the road and I hear a little voice behind me screaming, mommy. And it was my son. He was like, I saw you leave the house and get on your bike. And I really needed a break from my NTI work. Can I join you? And I was like, you know, these kids are just as stressed out as I am. Like I was kind of being selfish for a minute and was just like, I need to, I just want to be by myself. Mm-hmm. And then my poor son was like, but I just want to, I just want to be out too. You know, I need a break too. <laughs> so me and my son rode bikes for like an hour. And it, it just, I don't know. It just kind of hit me. You know, these, these kids, you know, they're really stressed out. They are so confused. You know, I was confused because she doesn't understand. And then you have the older kids, like my kids, they're stressed out and confused, but like they understand what's going on. But like social interaction is so important to these kids, especially for your the kids your age. Like yeah, their age. Yeah, like, like the, not being able to finish out this school year is really hard on my daughter. She's really struggling with it. Um, it's she, you know she was upset today. She had, this is the first day that she's actually had a bad day over something like that. You know, like she she was very upset. She had a Zoom class uh, yesterday, and she's not been the same since. And you can just tell that it's, she's really sad. She misses her teachers, and uh, she's a lot like me. She's a social butterfly. Um, and, she, you know, not having that is affecting her, and she's only nine. I mean, it's so hard because it affects it affects everyone in different ways. And yeah. you don't realize how much it you don't, I guess we didn't think about it at first, how much different things no. would be. Um, and but of course, my first thought was, oh, my God, my business. Mm-hmm. 
you know, as a business owner, you know, I don't, but that's just the first thing on my mind is, oh my God, what's going to happen to my business? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I didn't think about um, my mental health, the mm-hmm. mental health of my children, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. So it's, it's just, you're, like you said a minute ago, it's just been a huge eye opener of mm-hmm. how I prioritize my life, you know? And I think one thing that I can, I'm taking from it, and I've heard a few people say this, is that like, um, I think we've got less than a minute left <laughs> to talk, but uh, with uh, usual everyday stuff, I always complained about not having enough time and I wanted to just have a day at home to just relax and not have to worry about anything. And we all do. I think at some point we just want to just not have anything to rush, you know, rush to and not be so busy all the time. And then with this, it's like you have your chance now to slow down and enjoy being at home and enjoy being around your kids and yes, take that time yeah. if you can. I think that's that's kind of the gist of, of any time of advice that I would give anybody. Um, just enjoy what time you have. Find your silver linings. That's really all we can do. Let's just be honest. It's really all we can do at the end of every single day because – Eventually this will be over and I don't want to look back at this time and wish that I had smiled more, mm-hmm. laughed more, loved more, FaceTimed more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. I mean, I completely agree. And I get a lot more time with this one that's begging me to to get up. <laughs> get up and so. go home with your baby and I'm going to go home and do the same thing with mine. Um, and maybe next week we can pull on a guest and maybe talk about something a little different for a change, switch it up. So guys be watching for something a little different. We may go off track from COVID and I don't know, maybe I'll put my fake eyelashes on. I would love it. Please do. You want to say bye? Bye, Ella. Say bye. 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 (laughs) Enjoy your time with your mommy. Okay. Thanks for letting me have her for a minute. Hey, thank you so much. You baby watch. Oh, you're perfect. All right, guys. You guys have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you sometime next week. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you, Kevin. We love you. Thank you, Kevin. You've been listening to Behind the Mug Podcast, hosted by Jen Lafferty Kopecky and Amy Wallen-Reed. Your producer is Kevin Horn. This has been a production of Hat Media Services.